Hi, my name's Matt Ogborn, and in this video I will be reverse engineering an eBay template from an actual eBay listing. And this is exactly what uh, large sellers use uh, on eBay to uh, create consistent listings. They're not making eBay listings individually every single time like maybe what you are right now. They're using advanced software tools in the background which allow them to create a, a very high quality uh, listing each and every time that they list a new product onto eBay and this and uh, this is what I'm covering in this video. I'm going to reverse engineer it backwards so you can see what it from from real data uh, and, and a real listing back to what the template could possibly look like in the background. And I'll also be covering advanced selling tools in future videos and articles at Last Drop of Ink. So uh, let's jump over to my screen and let's go and reverse engineer an eBay template. So I've come to eBay and I've just picked on this seller's listing specifically, but in reality it could have been any uh, large seller on uh, eBay. And um, I'm not going to be looking at the actual data points themselves, that's what the second part of this video series and article series is going to be covering. So for example, the, the way the data is structured in the background of this listing and what the requirements are for this item to be listed, um, I'm going to pass over and I'm only going to focus on the actual eBay listing template itself. Now I am using the Firefox browser and I will be using an add-on called Firebug and Firebug will allow me to dynamically change the the, uh, the live page on eBay so I can show you what potentially what the this seller's listing template looks like in the background now I am just going to quickly go and um, scroll down to the listing and we can see here that you've got the template with the general store pages the, the logo at the top the store search on the left hand side they've got the shop categories down the left um, you've got your listing title there, a product image, some, some specifics, some price points, um, and some sh uh, and some tabs here as well, um, and then some product images which then go down the page. Now, what I'm going to go and do is actually edit this page live and show you what their template probably looks like in the background. Now, to do that, I just need to change this so we're showing just this frame only, and um, I'm going to be needing to turn on um, the uh, Firebug console, okay, like so. And you'll see that I've got this extra window up here in here. And this allows me to edit the page live so I can show you um, and put keywords in the places where this merchant or the seller has been and got data on their site, uh, on their eBay listing. So I'm going to quickly come in. I'm going to start with the, the title itself. Now, um, I did say I was going to edit this live, um, and I'm, I'm guessing this is something like this. Uh, and what I've been and put in there is a keyword. Now, if you ignore the speech marks, I'm, I'm just following what the seller's been and put in their listing. But uh, you're, you're in their actual eBay template which they're using to fill their data into for each one of their listings they're using something called keywords um, they can be called macros and variables and custom fields essentially um, it allows the seller to separate the eBay template excuse me from the actual product data itself and th this is a, a good example of what one of these templates could look like um, if I think back to my days at MarketWorks then they use percentage signs on the side it's just some way of identifying that that, that field there is a uh, matches the, the back-end systems uh, data field so uh, item title or just title would be a good example of what the seller uh, or that, that seller has been and got in their actual listing right there. Now what I'm now going to do is quickly just nip through some of these and change some of these around there. So colour, then that's probably set as colour in the background. And if I pick on the next field, um, that could be as simply as called size. And if I go and pick on the next one, which is product um it's no they've got style um they, this could be called anything in their back end system i'm, not, I'm just going to call it style it could be product type or something like that um and then moving on to hill height 
and and what these are, what these fields are in this merch uh, in this um, actually that probably hill height inch <laughs> for it and what this uh, cell is uh, custom fields are in the background I haven't got a clue in short I'm, I'm just taking uh, a guess at what they are and what this template could be looking like um, uh, in in their background so you can understand what high volume sellers do to sell more effectively and efficiently um, on eBay and the other online channels as well. So we'll pop material in there. And what have we got on the next one? We've got brands. Okay. Brands like so. And next one. Again, you can see these are relatively straightforward and that, that's what they'll be in the background. They'll be really, really straightforward. Um, if I just pick on that last one, that, that last one is probably their description now I can just edit the whole piece to that so, so I'm gonna put that in there maybe that's their description like so and I've removed the bullet point from the end okay um, and then as far as the price um, let's go and edit that so it's in the background it's probably ampersand pounds uh, to, to make the pound symbol um, and then um, buy it now price like so um, and again you're, you're seeing in the, in the template that template probably looks as odd as this can you see that there it looks really quite odd but when they actually dynamically fill in the buy it now price then it comes out fine uh, for it so let's go and choose on MSRP and again I'm, I'm just going to leave the pain symbol in there because uh, it's quicker MRSP for that and now with fields like this then this is where the advanced tools in the background have probably got some special keywords to automatically work out what the product saving is and what the product um, percentage saving is compared to the manufacturer's suggested retail price for the MSRP for example compared to the buy it now price now I haven't got a clue what's in here so um, I'm just going to put something like uh, saving amount um, and saving percentage probably spelled incorrect um, and um, if we're going down there condition okay like so and that's the kind of information which they've got in their listing uh, in their eBay template in the background it's not that they're, they're not individually creating each one of these fields they're just leaving placeholders behind then these placeholders are called keywords macros or variables um, and they allow them to separate the eBay template uh, away from the actual product data itself. Now um, that we've not looked at the images, and let's go and have a look at the uh, images there. Okay, so we're going to Firebug and open Firebug again. Um, just going to click on that image, um, and again, that their image won't be uh, 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 they won't be hard coding it in there. It will be something like um, image URL one for example, to, to show that image in there. And again, the, the template looks broken now, but that's pretty much what they've got in the background uh, for it. And if we look down at this whole shipping tab here, now if I grab that whole block there, and let me go and edit that. So I'm gonna grab that to there. Um, they may have a content driven um, a tool in the background which would allow to put like something and um, so if we if we um, keep this to say Isola Pro for example that they have something called paragraphs and the keyword to bring in a paragraph of text of so all that shipping text we have in there um, is in a is in a paragraph um, uh, 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 and to bring that paragraph in we use the insert command and then shipping table and then all that shipping information which we had there a few moments ago um, it, they, they don't store it they look the templates in templates <laughs> for it so just to get so sorry I'm intro introducing you into keywords and uh, the, the potential that eBay listings are made up by templates but 
please don't um, think that merchants restrict themselves to just that. They will be templating templates of templates in the background to break up each core component of the listing template. So if they want to update just the shipping section, they can do. And again, we could go on and do that for the, the payment and the returns policy and so on and so forth. Um, and then the additional images behind, um, I'm going to be a little bit more ruthless on this one and I'm going to put in something like image URL to um, in there um, and let's go on to the second one like so and then maybe that's image number three um, and again the the, 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 uh, the, the the eBay seller in the background may have images five six seven eight nine ten and if those images are there then they appear and then if they're not then they're not um, and that, that's the beauty of the template. If it's not there in the yeah, there to be shown, then it doesn't um, show uh, for it. So let's grab that. Number six. We run out of images yet? No. <laughs> for it and number seven and brilliant. We've now run out. Okay, so pink and matte. So what were that template which we looked at? It still looks like the listing which we were seeing a few moments ago, but um, what we can see is and um, what's been left behind are key words, these variables in here. And when the, when this seller or any of the large sellers on eBay, they work from and the vast sorry, the vast majority of them work from a templated based system. And this is kind of what uh, one of their eBay templates will look like in the background. So you'll see that they hard code a section and then leave the, the, the variable behind. So I think this item was black, um, if I remember correctly. Then when they go to list this item from their back end tool, which was Channel Advisor in this instance, then it will go and take that data field color and it will populate it into this template. And when the listing is sent to eBay, then it will have color black and that's why very large merchants are able to create very consistent eBay listings over and over again and that's why they're able to manage and focus upon their actual data, the product data and get really good product data such as color, size, style, heel height and so on and so forth and have great looking designs in their templates because their templates are separated. Now I know that data. was probably quite a lot for you to take in. I know it was for me the first time that I was shown how large sellers actually sell um, on eBay and how they manage multiple channels and sales channels at the same time. Uh, the, the, the way that keywords work and the, the separation that will, well first of all that the, the, each individual eBay listing is not created manu uh, manually by hand that there are advanced tools in the background um, and data, the, the inventory data which we're seeing on the screen is actually separated from the actual listing template which we've just been in reverse engineered and in the next video I will be looking at the inventory data which is sat behind this listing so you can see the data, the template and how it comes together to form the final finished product which we're looking at which is the eBay listing which we've been uh, reverse engineering, engineering excuse me, uh, tonight. So I'd like to thank you uh, for watching this video. Uh, if you've uh, enjoyed this video then you can find out more about me uh, and the Last Drop of Ink at lastdropofink.co.uk um, and I'd love to hear, about, uh, hear from you. Um, if you've got any comments or suggestions on this video then please just leave a comment below it doesn't matter if you're on YouTube or on the main website uh, there's comment boxes below and I'd really like to hear from you so again thank you uh, for taking the time to watch this video and I'm sure we'll speak soon cheerio